Okay, now resume my game. Okay, it only took a few. Okay, whatever. <laughs> this is a Lego gamer. Uh, sign back on to episode two of this game. Um, Butler until midnight. Last time we found out we're moving to Tokyo from Kyushu, I think it was, and to get a new job as some kind of editor for a magazine and all that. And now, um, we came home to our new place and found a ton of butlers. More or less. Um, I think it's going to cut me back a little bit. I think cut me back a little bit. Oh, sh shoot. Fast forward. Ugh. Ugh. I feel like an idiot. Yeah, apparently something happened. I, I messed it up. Um... So I have to skip ahead. Always. Always. Uh, can I pause this for a sec? Yes. I okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I didn't know it mess up. Okay. So yeah, he walked in our house. Welcome home, Miss Dragneel. I recognize these smiling faces. <laughs> Itsuki, and I forget the other one. Are I Oh no. Standing in front of me are none other than the butlers I just met. How? I'm unable to finish my question, but they gracefully bow their head. I slammed the door, which had just opened sh shut. What the heck? Am I seeing things? There has to be some mistake. I take a deep breath, and when I'm about to open the door again, I hear a click, and it opens. Is something the matter? There's the key. Oh, yeah, it's Tomoki. Almost Tomoki. They're still here? Um, why are you... Oh, did I do something wrong when I was at the mansion? <laughs> Ooh, I like him. He looks like CL, actually. You didn't. Are you making fun of me? No. Is this some kind of joke? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, Itsuki. Yep. Yeah, is that way. We're here to serve you, starting today. What? To serve me? Please, won't you come in? The butler is smiles on their face, taking my bags and bringing me slippers. And I looked on, dumb I looked on, dumbfounded, as they lead me inside. How is this happening? They've unpacked everything. Hang on, this is the apartment I'm renting. It is. Then why would? Do you remember we mentioned a girl who's a bit of trouble? Yeah, I do. He did say something about the daughter being rough around the edges. That girl is you. What? What? Uh, wh what? I agree. Um. Hush. Can't work. I can't allow the daughter of Ishijo to message vulgar sounds. What kind of joke is this? I'm going to be a sophisticated one by the time our employer is birth. Oh my gosh. Your employer. Kazuma Ichijo, your father. Father? For as long as I can remember, my dad has always lived overseas. I don't know what his face looks like, but we exchange letters every year. He, he's an important presence in my life, but I never heard anything about him being a millionaire, much less being in Japan. This is definitely some kind of misunderstanding. I'm going to go talk to my real estate agent. I turn back, my back to the butlers, and head straight for the door. I reach to the door knob when. The door opens. Why, hello there. Going somewhere, Miss Dragneel? You again. Yuma. <laughs> we should start by having you remember our names, don't you think? Yuma's grinning. Oh boy. I don't know what to make of him as he pushes me back into the room and unceremoniously locks the door. Click. In the foyer is Yuma, and behind me, four butlers. <laughs> you don't learn easily, do you? I told you before, you mustn't forget to lock your door. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> no way! You can't just get- Okay! S stay away from me and go home. Stick around and I'll call the cops. I didn't expect you to treat us like cops. Not when you'd be the one breaching your lease agreement, what? Yuma holds a piece of paper out to me. It's the contract! <laughs> This is the contract you signed a month ago. That's the paper he's holding as the lease agreement for this apartment. 
It bears my signature. This was discussed when you signed the agreement. For the apartment comes the number of features. Yeah, air conditioning, a security camera. Right in the middle of the fine print. I see the bizarre item that I missed and I skim the page of the real estate agent's office. Oh no. Personal bond. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's why you read the fine print. Do you remember now? How did you get this? Wait. Now you remember. Yep. Oh, I'm living alone. Mustn't forget to lock the door. Yep. Now you remember. Little baka. Oh, the other must have been. Yeah. Oh, you're all set. <laughs> That's awesome. I recall the nice real estate agents who helped me. Y you're them! You told me in the car on the way here that you wanted to experience life with a butler. You must be watching smile sends an unexpected chill down my spine. Of course you do. We had you come to the house to make the idea more pal palatable. He makes it sound like it was all something planned. Wait. But I only went to the house because my clothes got to- Oh my gosh. You're saying it? That lemma almost hit me was planned? Not bad, bro. They're demons. Obvious reference. That was in fate. Living his apartment and going to the Age of Joe house today? It was all set up. Suddenly, the whole thing scares me. You planned all of this. It's simply really with our capabilities. It is so much to kill ya. Okay, but I can terminate the lease, can't I? All five butlers walked toward me, grinning, and I set the step back. If you break this lease agreement now, what do you think will happen? Well, I wouldn't be allowed to live here. And do you have the money to move again? I spent a lot to move here, so... In other words, you break your contract and... I have nowhere to live in Tokyo. You wouldn't know I'd be losing an apartment. Without a place to live. I won't be able to work at First Lady. No job, broke, homeless. It'd be bad. I'm scared. They forced me into a corner. Mm -hmm. My heart is pounding. And knowing that I have no one I can rely on for support, I suddenly feel lonely. The butlers see how frightened I am, but not a single one of their expressions changed. I don't know what to do. That's easy. All you have to do is accept our training on behalf of our dear employer. It's only a month. How is this happening to me? I bet you're thinking, why is this happening to me? <laughs> it's because you need to be made presentable as Mr. E. Jijo's daughter. My life will be a disaster if I don't listen to them. How can I live with them after they manipulated me like this? You really have no choice. You see, we count on you being confused and reluctant. So we got rid of your options. You must broad smile gives me the creeps. I sink to the floor. I don't know what's happening. And yet, I don't even have the option of refusing. Whoa. Okay. Well, then. Um. I think we're stuck. <laughs> I think we're a little bit stuck. So, it's time you choose. Oh boy. Do I get to choose myself? Hang on. Who would you like to be your but? We- Oh, we only get one? Please select- Oh no. Do I have to- Do I literally have to choose one? Even know what did, I, what did I click on something? Oh my! I don't know how to choose. <laughs> I don't know. 
Uh. Shoot. Um. Kyo Itsuki Aoi Tomoki or Yuma. Shoot. Ah. Uh. Hmm. I think I, I think I will go through all of them, but yeah, I don't know. Like. Okay. Itsuki Matsuba. Wow. Oh my gosh. You have to buy the stories. Oh my. That's... You, you have to buy all the stories. Uh. Oh boy. Okay. Seasons. Oh wow. Okay, I need a lot of money. So we'll go with this. Um, main story. Uh, oh, gives me Yuma. I guess I'll go with Yuma. Man, about endings. <laughs> I did not think I'd have to buy them. Uh, about purchasing the endings. Uh, can I buy all of them at once? Have time or find difficult to unlock both endings. You can purchase the main story ending set. Plus, because. to buy this stupid Ugh. that's fun okay so well oh my gosh I did not think I had to buy it oh wow um okay this will be a pretty long let's play though I think if I take my time with it I'll be able to buy all of it Okay, <laughs> episode one. All right, so Yuma's going to be my butler, I guess. Um, well, well. I did feel something when I first saw him, and when we met earlier today, he seemed like a prince. I feel like if it's him, I can do this. All right, then I'd like to go with Yuma. Wow, Yuma, I didn't know you had such a distinguished taste. Yeah, I was gonna pick you. I'm jealous, you might get to be with this cute girl day in and day out. Wait, what? Day in and day out? Oh, well, oh, she's a perfect. The words throw me off and you glances at me then sighs. Really, Alan, this is your type. Eccentric, don't you think? No arguments for me, but... Wait a second. Alright, Yuma, that's enough. Maybe she's the kind of girl who is shiny with a little polishing. You're not serious, because if you are... We're gonna have to work on your taste in girls. Whoa! We'll have to see how far we can take this country bumpkin in a month. We're the buttons. Making it a reality is our job. <laughs> Regardless of what raw material we were given, if we're told to make it shine, that's what we'll do. I suppose any pebble will shine to some degree with polishing. Key words being, to some degree. Oh, come on! Okay, what? H hold up! Is it my imagination or are you ta ta talking completely differently from the way you were a minute ago? Before you were polite. I'm sorry, that was mostly me. Before you were polite, like, like you were super butler. Super butler? The girl has a pitiful vocabulary. Excuse me? I had lots of questions to ask. But with you right here in front of me suddenly acting so different, they've all vanished. Where did the nice princely Yuma go? I stand dumbstruck. Meanwhile, Yuma, Yuma dangles the contract in front of me. <laughs> we 
we're all set then. You've signed the contract, and we've made all the preparations for your training. Seriously, this is so much like Black Butler. <laughs> Even that laugh. Everything's going according to plan, so there's no longer any need for me to pretend to be nice. Aw, you're pretending to be nice? He wasn't pretending. That was one of y Yuma's many sides. Ah, oh, I picked the multi-personality one, but he's so different. You can stop this line of inquiry. It's pointless. Do you honestly think that a shallow girl who judges a person by appearances can grasp who that person really is? Just be quiet and follow my instructions. Please select one. Oh, man. Are you really a butler? Are you really a butler? What do I look like to you? Not a butler? <laughs> he acted and sounded like a butler only five minutes ago. I thought butlers were like, like the way you were back at the mansion. When you kissed the back of my hand and treated me nicely while you guided me. That is what we were going for when we were at the Ichijo residence. Are you saying you want more of that? That's not it. I mean, I felt like it was in a dream. Right? We put on a good show. A, a show? You may be the daughter of the family, but you're an incompetent simpleton. Never again will I kiss the hand of an imbecilic, naive hick. He's done a complete 180 from the perfect butler I thought he was, and I'm at a loss for years. Oh, I get it. Do you have a slip personality? No. There's only one Yuma, and this is it. Great. I guess that's what my guy was telling me anyway. His elegance and perfection, everything was all employed to fool me. Worry? Um, it's written all over your face. It's unmistakable. Well, what do you expect? Hearing all of a sudden, it's confusing. And now the butler I chose is like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You'll be fine. He smiles at me reassuringly. Yuma's very charismatic. So much so, in fact, that millionaires all over the world request his services. You're in good hands. He'll undoubtedly make you a striking, striking society woman. I don't know. After what Ara said, you will look down at me and grins. I don't believe it. How can this man be some kind of amazing butler? And even if it's true, isn't it more likely that he's got everyone tricked? What's happening is so crazy that all I seem to be able to do is stand still, frozen to the spot. Well, that's fun. That's fun. Where's my bedroom? Man, that's just. I wake up the next morning drenched in sweat. I had a dream. I had a bad dream. Some guys have all the costumes from my new apartment. <laughs> they are really nasty people. There was something about making me some kind of Park Avenue princess. A weird dream. I get up and open the curtains. The sunshine is dazzling. It's beautiful out, and today is my first day working in Edge World's apartment like I've always dreamed. It's time to forget about that nightmare. Alright, first things first. I take the off I picked out in advance for today off from the closet. I start to take my pages off when the door of my room opens. Oh, shoot! What the heck? Good morning, I see you all in. What are you? Get out, pervert! <laughs> I put my pages back on pretty quickly, but I'm not wearing a bra, so... Did he see? Oh, gosh! Quit shouting, you're agitating the dust in this filthy room. Filthy? This guy barges into a stranger's room, actually sees me changing, possibly seeing me naked, and finally calls my room filthy. Charismatic butler, yeah, right. We only have a month to get you ready for the big day with Mr. Ishijo. First, I need to get a handle on just how incompetent you are. Could you not assume incompetent? Are you saying that a girl who changes without locking her door is not incompetent? Who locks the door when they live alone? Hang on, I'm still dreaming? No, I'm definitely awake. Which means that that wasn't a bad dream. I can't believe that something like this could happen in real life. Oh my gosh, it's this late? I'm going to be late on my first day. Failure number one, you cannot manage own time. You jerk! I don't even have time to eat breakfast. 
Look, I have to get dressed. Please get out. Feeling number two, skipping breakfast, the most important meal of the day. Oh my gosh. Okay, enough. I push you. I have you was back and chill these out of the room. As I close the door, he grins. I pity you. Ugh. Slam. I'm pretty sure he saw me naked. I can feel the color drain from my face while I lock the door. This wasn't supposed to be this was supposed to be a great day, the first day of my new life. Whatever, I had to hurry up and get dressed, wash my face. Ugh, I wanted to have a peaceful start to today. Well, not gonna get one. <laughs> Ugh. <clears throat> I pity her. <laughs> Although I'm nervous on my first day, I at least managed to make it to work on time. <sighs> I'm exhausted. My hair was a mess at that race against the clock. I'm glad I had time to fix it in the bathroom, but I don't know if I did a good job. How much my desk? The woman is in the seat next to mine. She looks nice. Oh, you must be Zelda Dragneel, our new recruit. Th that's me. I'm new to all of this, but I look forward to working with you. I'm Saya Hos Hosokawa. You seem nervous, don't be. <laughs> oh, we will keep you busy. Saya Hosokawa, there's something reassuring about her. I'm glad she's the person I'm sitting next to. So, what do I do first? I'm not just Saya. For some reason, she's hurriedly tidying her desk. Uh, I'm something wrong? Oh, right. Today's your first day, so your desk is fine. Oh, do you mind? Your collar is crooked. Saya carefully fixes my collar. Thanks. So I was meeting this morning with the editor-in-chief, and the editor-in-chief believes that we can't work if our desks or appearance is anything but perfect. That explains why everyone's scrambling to clean their desks. Look around, I realize that it isn't just Saya. Practically everyone is organizing papers on their desks. <clears throat> They're all so serious about it. Is the editor-in-chief that scary? Before long, the morning meeting starts and the woman walks leisurely toward the editorial department. <clears throat> morning, Pete. <laughs> Good morning. She is the editor-in-chief. Isn't that Miki Horimura? Hor right, we have a newbie today. Uh, yes, I'm Zola Dragnil. I take a nervous step forward and bow my head to the editor-in-chief. I'm excited to be here and look forward to working with you all. Brown. Uh, I'm sorry? Bambino looks like Bambi. What? Miss Harimura doesn't give me a second look after National Brown Bambi? Whoa. Miss Harimura is already cursing the new girl with a nickname. Well, her clothes are all brown. She's basically calling the kid on being a poor dresser. That's what it means? She mocked me? Don't worry about it. There isn't a soul. Miss Harimura has come from that on the first meeting. I'm depressed and say whispers in my ear. Really? You know what they say about lying? The only way is a club that can pick itself out you're falling down. That's how the expression goes, anyway. <clears throat> that's the kind of person Miss Hormer is. So you're saying she's a strict boss? You can't say that. She's kind of the devil. <laughs> the devil! You'll be okay, Bambina. This is the way it is for everyone when they start. And it's true. But you'll show her what you're made of. She'll come around. The Bambina thing. It's your nickname. You're stuck with it. It should make me happy, but it kind of does. And doesn't. But this is the job I've been dreaming about. I wouldn't let a nickname depress me. <sighs> Man, I don't even know what to think. <laughs> I don't know what to think. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh. Uh, how long has this been going? Alright, so I think I'll just end it there. Um, we will continue our first day at work next time. Um, see you guys then. <laughs>